Otto von Chesterfield Esquire, or Chester for short, is the next scumbag mob, uh, I mean super helpful friend, on the list. Just like his overly awesome and far better counterpart Hutch, Chester can serve us well, and even comes with some special abilities to boot. But how do we go about making acquaintance with our new companion here? Well first, we need to locate the item that Chester can't seem to be without. The Eye Bone. Just like Star Sky Down Under, Chester will only follow the Eye Bone and there is no other way around it. The item does have a chance to naturally spawn just about anywhere in the world, but unlike Hutch and Star Sky, I can actually give advice on where one should look first. You see this area here? It is a grasslands biome with ponds and beehives nearby that also sits near and at the end of a cobblestone road. Now, it isn't 100% guaranteed, but beginning your search in areas like this can allow for very early potential Chester spawns, so go get them. And when you do obtain the eye bone, Chester will hop into existence and you will have earned yourself a furball of a companion. And, of course, you can go about storing things within him to turn him into a portable chest. Cause I mean, really, of course you can. It's in his bloody name for Pete's sake. Initially, you have 9 slots available, which is actually mighty useful early game as you gather, gather, gather resources for the long and cold wintry season to come. But sadly, unlike our pal Hutch, putting things like glowberries and light bulbs in him doesn't make it so he emits a light radius. So don't go thinking that you'll be safe from the hands of Charlie. You'll be dead so while Chester just sleeps it off like nothing is wrong. Stupid Chester. But let's say he gets lit up in a totally not cold-blooded murder type of way. He will drop everything within him, and be careful though if anything is flammable because it's going up in flames too. But when dead, the eye of the eye bone is actually closed. But don't fret, Chester will respawn after but one day. So, he'll be hopping back into existence soon enough. And I really wouldn't worry, unless you're putting him through some major abuse, he's not gonna die on you that easy. Because Chester shares that same health regeneration as Hutch does at 22.5 health every 3 seconds, so he is gonna be a sturdy boy for you. But here's a quick little tip for just Weber players before we get on to the cool stuff. You must know by now that running about the webbing of the spider nests in the morning doesn't spawn your spooter friends. But if you bring Chester through the area, then they will come out in force, allowing you to do with them as you please without having to wait till dusk. Careful though, Chester can die quick if overwhelmed by a mob of mobs, which is either really sad and leaves you heartbroken for our new friend, or, you are like me and have no soul, which means you are jumping for joy. But like Hutch, Chester holds a secret, and it is transformative. No, I'm serious, Chester can transform in the two different variants come a full moon night, and both of them are far better than the original. So let's go talking about how to get them, yes? For the first variant, we are gonna need some nightmare fuel. Nine to be exact. So go ahead and go cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs by any means necessary. Maybe even using the intrepid bone helm obtained by vanquishing the ancient fuel weaver. And once you get them, you need to put at least one nightmare fuel in each of Chester's nine slots. He will be consuming the items used to transform him, which is but another reason why Hutch is better than him. So really just try to stick to having but one each. Then, come a full moon, Normie Chester transforms into... Shadow Chester. You may have consumed some nightmare fuel to do it, but you have just obtained a special version of the little furball. So there's that. Now, not only is there an obvious aesthetic change, Shadow Chester now has an additional row of inventory available to the players bringing him to 12 slots total, 
For early game transport and resource management, Shadow Chester here takes the cake and will be a tremendous help. Get you one. But our next variant has us on the hunt for gems. Blue gems, that is. So go ahead and honor the memory of the fallen by defacing their graves in search of some. Or wait till the white stuff falls and hunt down the hunting pack, as the blue hounds there have a 20% chance to drop one for you. And you might just be walking away with some other goodies, too. You could head to the ruins and do a little smash and grab down under in hopes of finding a couple as well. You can rummage through tumbleweeds for that 0.04% chance of netting you the item you need. Or better yet, you can face down Dragonfly for a guaranteed two blue shinies. Either way, you will need nine in total, so get them through any means. Then, make sure to place one in each of Chester's nine slots, and a normal Chester will transform into a snow or ice Chester upon a full moon night. Now, this is the better variant right here, ladies and germs, and I'll tell you why. But oh yeah, let me just mention this as I forgot to before. The eye bone also sees an aesthetic change upon transformations as well, which is a lovely, lovely touch. Why snow over shadow? Well, a snow chester works all the same as before, but with the added mechanic of being a fridge. So yes, with a snow chester at your disposal, wherever you go, an icebox goes with you. But it gets better. Let's say it's summer lovin' time and you got nothing to shield you from the blistering heat apart from a couple thermals that you just occasionally cool at an endo fire. If you have an ice chester, he can be cooling off one of those thermals while you hold the other. And when the heat gets to be too much for you, all you need to do is swap them out and you are back to the races. A snow chester is all you need to combat overheating in summer. In fact, having a snow chester just breaks summer to be honest. But there you have it everyone, a guide on the unique mob, Chester, and his many special forms and potential uses. I hope we have all grown in our appreciation of Hutch throughout this video, as he is clearly the one and only. Screw you, Chester. Take care folks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.